A question of character. Rhaegar is the greatest warrior of Arkul to ever have lived. An interesting assessment because he was dead. Rhaegar is zombie warrior of the sunset. Partially nude, fully heroic. Master of the disc armor. A deadly chained and bladed disc with yo-yo attributes. But not yo-yo fun. Rhaegar uses the disc armor for yo-yo dismemberment. A lethal weapon. Likely to injure a normal man. But Rhaegar remains unscathed because he is no normal man. Rhaegar is a fully intact zombie of holy justice. Ligar, a beast of lion, tiger, dragon, and subversion. Ligar established the kingdom of evil within the skies of the holy place. Argul, closing their door to peace. The people of Argul's specific door allowing for peace within their land, causing the people to pray loudly. Not to God, not even to their Endora gods, but instead to Rhaegar, zombie of peace, warrior of war. Rhaegar heard their prayers and decided to himself, I shall not be dead. Disc armor attack. Rhaegar, warrior of Algosu, arrives fully intact. The finest of bones, the healthiest of skin. Rhaegar only moves in full sprint, coming back only for one purpose. Disc armor Vengeance. Rhaegar's sole weapon. Rhaegar has no prior knowledge of Argul or its people. Fortunately, Rhaegar discovers allies. Hermits. A similar appearance to Endora gods, but with less eyes to provide Rhaegar with useful information. So that's how I get to Garlaws. Thank you, naked monk of truth. Although Rhaegar has been at peaceful rest for an unknown time, he is adept at mountaineering. Equipped with loose red pants, shoes of powerful halt, and a warrior's crown. Training his brunette locks, his shoulder guard modestly covering his neck space. Never going full frontal, unless he is attacking. Die, lizard tank! The Endora gods patiently meditate with great tools of alpinism, seeking a hero to master their pulley equipment. Rhaegar is a grappling master, with a fascinating scooch climb, using the fundamentals of lift. Two arms. Dual thrust. Rhaegar has the firmest of jumps. One knee at waist level. Leg pouncing for propulsion or for offensive measures. The fainting strike. Rhaegar's heroic feat cause enemies to experience brief paralysis. Truly a shocking blow. Rhaegar is fearless of heights. Heights. Really heights. Evil flying castle heights. Rhaegar shall pulley and jump the evil floor rocks. Rhaegar sprints upon the border of death, but ironically, Rhaegar unlocks more life upon defeating Ligar's wicked army, with each kill remembering, oh yes, I used to be strong as well. He procures the enemy's priceless capsules for grappling length for energy, and not only attacking, but also assailing a sudden blow affecting all living creatures without even touching them. A blinding flash of power shines, simultaneously joined with pain. Finally, Rhaegar is vulnerable to attacks. Rhaegar must avoid contact for fear of losing precious after-death energy or risk experiencing re-death. But Rhaegar can find precious life-saving little medicine. And thankfully, the Endora gods are ready. But not just with mountain climbing equipment like this crossbow, but big medicine. But only if Rhaegar is equipped with the coat of arms. Not an actual coat, but an item, proving the triumphs of a true hero, because they won't provide items of restoration to just anyone. That would be just silly. Power moderate. Rhaegar's disc armor strength powers up after every kill, and his assail is brutal but limited. Also, he can only strike when up close and personal, instead of projectile weaponry to remain far away and indiscriminate. Defense. Excellent. Although Rhaegar decidedly rose topless from his grave, he develops a 
high resistance to attacks with armor and experience. And whenever he actually decides to wear clothes, he may become near unstoppable. Agility. Excellent. Rygar travels throughout the mountainous land with ease, jumping and maneuvering within the air to attack multiple enemies. And he's going to jump off this cliff. Just kidding. Grade B. Rygar is ready to open the door to peace and to defeat Ligar, the lion tiger beast with dragon arms, a disgusting menace, and to have the people of Argul once again experience peace, while Rygar himself shall experience nothing, because he's not even alive. He's dead. Next episode, Mother of Terrible Characters. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into quest. Return every Monday for more. A question. question. Oh, question. Character. character. character.